Put your efforts to sound living And these pretenders, they so pretentious I hope they understand I'm seeing through it I speak a flow and I never do it And now the DMs, they be popping I mean, everybody's gonna have to be ready to contribute um, You know, we feel that we have a very versatile team And we have different guys that can bring different things on any given night uh, So you've gotta be mentally engaged uh, and prepared when your number's called to go out and play to your strength because at that point in time, your strength is what this team is going to need. Um, so, again, we feel like we have guys that can do it. Um, we're looking forward to it. It's like that playoff regression that we got to be able to ready to match it, if not beat it, especially here being here in their home arena. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be a challenge, and we're excited. And tip off between the Cavaliers and the Celtics. It is only moments away. And the atmosphere in this building, AC, has been hopping for about a half hour now here in Boston. You're right. I mean, these people, they know how important this game is. And so everybody's come here to cheer the Celtics on, and the Cavs are here to spoil all the fun. Simplified tonight. Um, you know, there's ways that they play us uh, where you know I thought we could have taken advantage of it more. Um, you know, attacking the middle of their floor more than trying to play on the sidelines uh, and those types of things. But again, we'll go watch the tape, um, we'll take some rest, and then we got them coming up quickly. So. That's what life's about, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told everybody. I said, I got the mic. I bet you not everybody It's the difference between listening and hearing me. Oh, I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. I, I said I didn't tell anybody. They got me. Again. Whenever I'm mic'd up, the ratings go up, apparently. Jay is, is a super fun person. Uh, you know, he loves people. He loves getting his teammates involved and just trying to bring that energy and be that leader for us. And, uh, you know, Jay, you know, he goes out and he makes sure he waves to everybody out there. So yeah, that's just the, that, like, it just really shows who he is and, you know, his caring personality and want everybody to be acknowledged. Um, but his presence is definitely huge for us on and off the court. And I think it's even felt within the community. Yeah, they feel no behind. You got your way to me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought he was going to move. <laughs> well, I can't give you everything, I'll give you energy. That's all we need. So, all right. Look, I don't wanna talk. How you try and press the kid and really you was soft. All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop. I don't wanna speak. Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I'll be spitting it with ease. You gon' see the peace. You gon' see the reflex when you hear these witness. Trust me, you know the difference. I got a long way to climb before you see a slippage. I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be, but perplexed. Uh, that first half, you know, that wasn't Cavalier basketball. Um, give the Celtics a ton of credit. Like, you know, they wanted to go out and win, and they played that way. Uh, and they took it to another level. Pritchard to the basket, puts it up, missed it. Oh, the follow by Williams didn't go. We have a foul, however, called. Have a slight delay. The Cavs don't mind this as now Mitchell goes and has a word with Grant Williams. The 
with a Celtic lead. Mm. Oh. Here we go. Williams for the tie. Missed it. Tipped. No. Levert off to Stevens for three. He knocks it down. Well, you might as well. When we have our conversation with guys and we you know, talk to them about who we need them to be uh, and how they play to their strengths that impacts this team in the most positive way. Um, and, you know, Lamar is a dog and he's willing to scrap. He's willing to fight. Um, you know, he's not afraid of the moment. You know, he hit the big three. Uh, then he drives down the lane, you know, with the physical finish. Um, and then every time we needed an extra possession, he went and got it. And, you know, he made the right play after he got it. Um, you know, so I, I can't say enough about how proud I am of him, um, you know, and how deserving he is of, you know, a ton of credit for us winning this game tonight. Came to the locker room and I was like, if Lamar don't get this chain, Let's just throw the chain away. I don't want it no more because, like, he deserved it, you know. You know, he's a dog. You know, during that, the thing was the Celtics game at home, you know, he single-handedly, you know, brought us back with his energy, you know, the hustle plays, getting all the rebounds, kicking it out of DG, Donovan. Um, your first time ever. Double up. First time ever. Double up. But, but I want, before we get to that, we got to understand how important this is. And we shouldn't have to wait till halftime to flip a switch again, right? There's too much value in these games. How we start games is extremely important. I put that onus on you guys at start to set the tone, right? That's your responsibility to make, off, to make sure that we get off to the right type of start, okay? And then we follow it through. But Lamar, that was a hell of a performance. Uh, it felt good, uh, you know, just to have that impact, uh, coaches to have that belief in me to play me uh, in those big games and uh, allow me to impact the game how I, how I can and uh, just to win that award, that's something that we definitely take pride in as a team and uh, as a unit. it toward Kevin Love, sends it back to Darius Garland for a long distance Ooh. three that's perfect. Setting the tone early. Here's Adebayo, guarded by Allen, Love gets open inside, he lays it in. Uh, it, was definitely, it was definitely fun. Uh, playing against him for the first time against, you know, on different teams, I think like the first position, you know, he gets a charge on me and I'm just like, like wow, he like I feel for it. Like you know, I've been playing with him for a while, so just something he knew I was to go to my year old, so he got there. So it was just funny interaction after that. And a bio oh, no. oh, Just the grit and the resilience that we showed. Um, you know, it was an ugly fourth quarter for both teams. You know what I mean? Like, these are two really good defenses uh, that put you in difficult situations. Um, you know, forced a ton of turnovers both ways. But I thought our guys did a great job of maintaining their poise um, and being able to come up with the win and just making, and, you know, credit to Jared Allen. Uh, you know, he was a dominant force defensively on the fourth quarter and on the boards where last game we had a hard time with them on the board. So uh, shout out to Jay for that for sure.
remember there are no rules at the end of the game. Okay, so don't just go one speed. Get your space, use your body, create separation so we can get the ball into you guys, all right? Uh, I got a question for you guys, and let you guys make a decision. So we either practice tomorrow, or we're off tomorrow, and we have shoot around on Friday. Oh, oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Shoot around. <laughs> that was sweet. Surprise. <laughs> 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 uh, Mar, where you at? I'm oh, right here, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, Taking it to, uh, where are you at? Taking it to heart, right? Fourth quarter, dominating the boards like we needed you to, right? Hell of a job, Jay. Because uh, they, they, are, they are good people, and uh, we just have a good time. And uh, they, to me, are learning about what it's all about every day. And uh, I'm looking forward to the playoffs. <laughs> job of competing. There was just some small things um, that we know we can improve on and be better at. Whoa! Allen got hit and fouled. Allen's down. Jared appears to be in a great deal of distress. The Cavs have seen enough of those right. this season. Remember, the season began with a Darius Garland eye laceration opening night in Toronto that cost him five games. Mitchell for three. Charlotte, North Carolina, where tip-off between the Cavaliers and the Hornets is only minutes away. Game one of two. These teams will do it again in this city on Tuesday. The teams have taken the floor. Evan Mobley stepped to the center circle. He'll match up against Nick Richards. Michael Austin, Carr, and Serena Winters welcome aboard as Darius Garland opens the score with an elbow, a jumper to Mitchell. Mitchell 
Works on Washington, penetrates with the basket, double punches, puts it up and in, and Mitchell has a chance for the three-point play. Better one on one defense in the paint. Hayward gets inside, puts it up and in. Smith weaves inside, rejected by Lopez. Kicks the pocket of Rozier. McGowan's down the lane, and he got eaten alive by Mobley. Last off McGowan's, and it's Cavaliers' ball. Get that big stuff out of here. The Cavs outlast the Hornets, 114-108. And there you see it, JV's team 14 times this season have overcome a 10-point deficit. <laughs> Darius held it down. They have got big plays in the fourth. Carry. We got stops. So we got stops in the fourth. It's a big win. It's a big win. Rest up. Follow it up. On Tuesday. Right. Woo. Prepare ourselves for the rest of the year. Okay. We got away with one today, fellas. All right. We 100% did. We got away with one today. Um, shut up. <laughs> Who got it last? Where is the wedge? This nigga said it's a good wedge. Who did, Jay? Come on, Jay. Who messed up on the left eye? The left eye. One out of four. Uh, Bert. Yeah! Yeah! Honestly, I don't know where this came from. I just, I think it was the first game of the season we won or something like that. Just like, I just got in that pose and then, you know, I just started hearing my teammates talking about, stop getting in that pose, comments, people hit me up saying like, why are you always in this pose? You know, I'm like, I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, it's just evolved. Uh, we'll all be standing up there and Isaac will still be sitting. He'll take his time walking over and then like get down in this pose really quick. And it's just funny. It's something that's definitely turned into like a tradition for him. Uh, that happens every time the chain is handed out. So it's, it's definitely cool and, and it's funny for us. As we keep winning games, like, if there's something in front of me, I'm like, okay, if there's a chair, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get on top of the chair, I'm going to do the pose. If there's a table, I'm like, I'm going to get on top of the table, do the pose. So, I mean, whatever is in front of me, I'm going to do the pose with that object. Look at me go, look at me flex, it's not a play. I'm more like a jet, I act song, we ain't impressed, that you're me, now she undressed. To make it all worse, I got to check. You want a verse, double the check. I want a diss, then I got to the possession alive. Back it goes to LeVert. LeVert thought about it, then pulls the trigger and hits. That's independent, seeing the feelings, and that's when they finish. I've been around your cities and states. I take it down here. Burn from the corner. Days, you just a clown with your minimum wage work. This how going you pop. Here, the birds a perfect three for three. Really job None of the numbers can job. See me on me and we, we're hitting our stride, um, you know, at the right time. And uh, I feel like it's just all going to come together, you know, when it's supposed to. Uh, I think timing is everything in this league. So. Um, just, you know, we knew it was a process of figuring that, figuring it all out. Um, and I think, you know, each game we're getting a little bit closer. Poppin pulls up. Got it! <laughs> Jenny Oppen has five threes on the evening. He has exploded for 21. Uh, yeah, I feel like this year from the beginning of training camp to right now, like, the chemistry on and off the court has just been phenomenal. I mean, we spend time with each other, you know, each and every day as much as we can. So, I mean, guys stepping up, you know, going out with each other, you know, just texting in the group chat, you know, we spend time with each other, we talk to each other, and chemistry is at all time high. Nice to meet y'all. 
right there, buddy. Dry it off. Dry it off. Hey. Yeah, happy birthday, little bro. Nah, I can't bring him inside. Aww. Come on. Up. How'd you guys get in here? Y'all got to take the jerseys off. That's facts, though. Kids. Definitely, jerseys. Just don't got twisted. Say, where's my watch? <laughs> 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 Who is this kid? Who is this kid? Who is this kid? Yeah, just my jersey? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, it's a team. He's robbing everybody. He's robbing everybody. He's robbing everybody. Hey, you got it. I need your jerseys. Hey. What's up, man? Who's this? Yeah, it's a whole bit. Why'd you get the whole cup? Whole cup. You still need a sibling, my little guy. Hey, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. Do it how it is. Let's turn it in. Jeremiah. Whose birthday? Jacob. Your birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, brother. It's not his birthday. I mean, happy birthday to him. We say happy birthday to everybody. How old are you? Seven. Seven. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Where'd you guys come from? <laughs> okay. I respect that. You guys know Broxley. It's his birthday. It's Broxley's birthday, too. Broxley! 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 Uh, come here for me, fellas. Hope you guys come here. Put, set that down right there. Set it down right there. Set it down right there. Uh, who got it, lads? Bert, where you at? Come here. I want you guys to hold this and give this to Karis. Okay. All right. Uh, Jenny Osman. Hey! Hey, let's get out of here as quickly as we can. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Two, three. All right, guys, get it Happy birthday. Good to see you. You guys have fun. I mean, these kind of give us, like, you know, I guess the playoff experience kind of. You know, being in the city for a couple of days, you know, playing two games there. So I guess it gives us a playoff experience. I definitely think so, especially with the timing. Uh, I mean, we got nine games left and uh, heading into the playoffs. It's good preparation to just what it's going to be like, you know, when we do get into that environment. So uh, just and like that's been our main thing, just, you know, uh, really honing it in on the things we need to do to win those playoff games and, and prepare us for that. So I think this is a great opportunity for that. Let's make some noise for yours. Come on in.